Today we're having a wine from the south of the Rhone Valley. As you know, by now we, we drink a lot of uh, Rhone wines uh, here. This is uh, called Le Petit Vin d'Avril from the south of, even south of Chateauneau du Pape, southeast of Chateauneau du Pape, on uh, closer to the water, on more of a like, sandy, flat uh, land. And Vin d'Avril, Avril is a family, Vincent Avril uh, and his family own the super famous uh, Chateau Neuf du Pape, Claude des Papes. And so uh, it's, uh, and they've been doing this, you know, that Claude des Papes is, goes back a couple hundred years. It's one of the top wines in the, in the Chateau Neuf uh, area. And they really have just one wine, one red, one white. And uh, uh, the, the family does not believe in creating different cuvées and in mixing up the different uh, grapes, depending on this and that, and creating all these labels. They think that sort of hurts all the wines. So they just want to make one wine. They have one red, one white. And uh, what they did is they developed new, different land. It's, this is not Chateau Neuf, uh, Chateau Neuf grapes to build this uh, Petit Vin d'Avril, which is very easy to drink very high quality, uh, young wine made out of uh, uh, primarily Syrah and Grenache, but also with uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, with uh, Mourvedre, with uh, Carignan, Cinso, and different mixes, you know, depending on the years. Again, it's, it's made with the ex same exacting standards as the top wine, but it's also made with a different kind of grapes that lend themselves to cheaper, earlier, uh, uh, drinking. So let's uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, the color is uh, very. Uh, it's sort of typical of the Southern Rhone. You can get you get the Grenache primarily. You get the Syrah. You get the Mourvedre. Not sure about all the others, uh, and I can't really tell you what the proportions are in this particular uh, wine. But it's uh, it just very fruity, red fruit, not dark, not darker than that. The menthol and sort of ether that goes up through your nose. And uh, it's just still, you know, very youthful from that point of view, but it's something that I don't think is gonna be a problem. on the palate, I get a little bit more of the Mourvedre, maybe a little bit of the bitterness. Usually I'm not a big fan, but here it blends really nicely. Um, it's got a nice long finish. It's really good when it's in your mouth too. It's alcoholic. Uh, it looks like alcohol, but it's only 13 and a half. This is a very young wine. Basically what they do is they don't even have a vintage on the bottle. It, most of his wines are like two thirds this current vintage and a third from last year's vintage. Sometimes it goes three or four vintages. So it doesn't want to be held to any particular vintage. He looks at what he has and he mix them up every year to make the bottling that doesn't have, this is the most recent one. Could be 17, could be 18. I don't know when it went on the market. And they use new foods, you know, the giant uh, oak vats for this wine. And after three or four years, it becomes a, the the wood becomes neutral, and that wood is then used for the top flight Chateau Neuf du Pape because he'd like to use they use the wood because of the aeration capabilities of the wood, but they don't want any of the taste of the wood. That's why you would use neutral wood in these wines. Anyway, very good wine, very easy to drink, very you know just afternoon friendly. Let's put it this way. Sorry about the noise in the background. And uh, uh, it's just, again, this is a cheaper, you know, $20 bottle of wine. And, and thanks to the succession of great years we've been having in the Rhone, uh, you know, one after the other. And thanks to the creativity of these winemakers who don't mind putting a cheaper, more accessible wine in the market for us, I think we're going to be able to drink a lot of variety of wines at a reasonable price while we wait for the top Chateau Neuf to age, you know, and, and become more complex uh, gracefully. Again, 
petit vin d'avril. Avril is the name of the family. Cheers.